guys welcome to my channel thank you so much for tuning in today um, I'm going to be doing a gua sha facial massage on myself uh, if you're new to my channel thank you so much and welcome I'm so thrilled that you are here um, I'm just going to go through what gua sha actually is uh, gua sha is comes from a Eastern Asian practice that translates into English as scraping away the pain uh, so it's also number one a grounding ritual what means it uh, brings you closer to yourself, feeling more grounded, feeling more calm through our minds so we can handle emotional is uh, issues better. Uh, so this is a great time to be doing this on ourselves. Uh, number two, tension relief. Uh, this is great for migraine sufferers, TMJ. Uh, it relaxes the muscles. And number three, we have detoxifying. When you use the gua sha, it stimulates our lymphatic system helps our organs function optimally by breaking up stagnation. Number four is a natural facelift. It uh, works perfectly to lift, sculpt, and tighten skin. Regular use can prevent the signs of aging such as sagging, dull, and wrinkled skin. Uh, it contributes to a more lively, plumped up youthful appearance. Number five is glowing skin. No flow, no glow. Increases circulation and improves the lymphatic function resulting in a natural dewy glowing complexion. Today I'm going to do a little session here of uh, gua sha. I, I do this maybe once or twice a week and it just helps with getting out toxins out of our face and the reason why I chose to do it today is because I had an allergic reaction over something I took. I started a new um, a blood pressure pill and I don't know if that had something to do with it or I was out in the yard. Um, but I think it had to been something internally because I woke up and my eyes were swollen. My lip was swollen and uh, I took Benadryl and it went away. But it, I still have some swelling in my eye. So I figured maybe this will help get those toxins or whatever the heck's in my face right now out. And I thought, what a great time to show you uh, that you can do this at home as well. I keep these little uh, tools in my fridge. Okay, here's where I keep my gua sha tools. I have this little mini fridge. And it's wonderful. Keep it right here on the side. And it keeps them so nice and cold. And I will put a link in the description box. I only use two two of the tools. I think it, the set came with four or five. And the other ones are just longer. They'd probably be better for body part, you know, like your arms or legs or shoulders. Um, so the one, the two I have here are the ones that I use on my face. And I use the Ordinary, um, the rose hip Oil, the organic. Yeah, 100% organic uh, cold pressed rose hip Oil, seed oil. And, uh, and I just put a few drops on it. And here are the tools. Um, they look like this, and they're jade. Um, I don't think they're the real jade. Well, I know they're not the real jade because they weren't that expensive, but anything will do. I've even seen where you can use, and I'll even demonstrate. Um, this is like a little uh, Chinese spoon. Um, you can use that. And you can also, if you don't have one of those, you can just use a regular spoon. So I'm just going to demonstrate all that for you. So if you don't have any of these right away and you want to do something tonight, uh, run and get a spoon. You can do it. And I'm just going to put a few drops on my face, like I said. I double cleansed my face prior to this. And you can steam it. That will make it nice to make it a little spa night for yourself. And I'm just going to rub this generously all over my face and you want to go down your neck. I should have wore a better shirt for this because I usually will get my chest, but we're just going to focus on my face today because of what's happened. I don't know what the world that was about and yeah, but I woke up, I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm going to have to go to the hospital, get a shot, but the Brenna drill did work. It kicked in, thank God. Um, but oh my gosh, it was, it was scary and it was annoying and I had to go to work looking like a crazy person and then I took the Benadryl and then I was you know how it makes you groggy and just oh not a good day <laughs> good day at all 
All right, so let's begin our session, but I'm going to start off first with the Chinese spoon um, so you can kind of get the idea of that you can do it with these just normal household um, items here. And what I like to do is I start here and you don't want to use like the, the tip here. You're going to want to use like almost like a pressing motion motion. So um, you can either do it that way or this way. Again, don't try to be on a sharp edge, you know, um, and this will make your face red. So don't be a little shocked over that, but it will, you know, cause you're just really massaging this and I am using, you know, some pressure here and each swipe you want to go the minimum of five times. And I usually do 10, uh, 10 swipes per section. And so I'm showing you with the spoon there. Or you can use just a regular spoon and like I said, you want to use the smooth surface here and just keep pressing up here. And this is just getting all the fluid out of your face. It really does do really nice. It just, it's just very relaxing to me. A lot of times I'll put on some nice music and maybe I can find a track to play in the background here for you guys. Um, light a candle. Usually the <laughs> lights are much dimmer. So it can be very relaxing. And honestly, the spoon feels really good. So honestly, you can use just a regular spoon in your home. Um, and now I'm going to go in with this tool here. And as you can see, you will get more of a section with these. And see how I'm, I'm trying to, yeah, you want to do this. You don't want to drag this way. So you want it to be comfortable you don't want you know to be hurting yourself either so take it all the way and I don't know how many swipes I've done there but I'm gonna imagine probably around 10 if not more and then if you ever need to add more oil to it you can go ahead as you can see can you see the difference already how this is still a little bloaty looking and this is starting to look smooth uh, or more flat so, and now I'm going to go down to a different section and I'm going to go all the way to my ear and take that and we're going to do 10 strokes. Okay, so now that's done and now I'm going to go under my eye and Take it all the way up. Okay, so now we've gotten that whole section. And then this tool here, I like to use around, because it's see how it's curved here? I like to use that right under here under your you know right at your jaw and I just take that around go all the way up to my ear okay so now I gotten that and now you can go on your forehead and this part here see how that's curved here this is good for here and I'm just going to go up. Like, oh, that feels so good. <laughs> Especially like if you have a migraine or a headache, it just relieves that pressure or sinus. It just really feels really nice. You know, I don't know what it is, but I do get a lot of pressure here. I, I probably do have a lot of sinus things going on. You don't even realize it until you start doing stuff like this, where you are sore at or what, you know, is bothering you all like you can just go in here and kind of massage and then you're going to want to go and you can even pull your you know to make it comfortable because everybody's face is a little different so to get the angle that you want you just want to do whatever's comfortable for you and this really should not hurt you know there is pressure but 
it should not hurt you. If it feels like your skin is tugging, um, maybe put some more oil on it or use less pressure. Okay, so now we've gotten that side done. And now I want to focus on here because that's where I, if you can see, it's really puffy here still. Um, I'm going to try to focus more on that area. This, this does get a little tricky here, so let's see if I can get it. And I'm trying to look in the mirror and here. And then I'm just going to kind of hold it there for a second. And with the gasha, there's really no wrong way other than, like I said, don't do this. I mean, I'm, it's still not wrong. I mean, you still can do it. It's just I think you get more benefit if you drag this way instead of with a sharp, pointy part. Okay, so when all that is done on this side, I like to <laughs> get the toxins out. We're going <laughs> to get these guys out of here. So what I do is I take it and bring it down the lymph node. And we are taking it all the way down. Getting all those fluids out of our face. I'm sorry we're not looking here. I'm looking here because it's my <laughs> monitor here is my mirror because this is blocking my mirror. So I apologize if I feel like I'm looking into space here, but this is really my only way to see what I'm doing. <laughs> I do have a mirror here, but then you wouldn't be able to see what I'm doing. So again, yeah, you know, make time for yourself. You know, this is so relaxing. You know, like I said, play some nice relaxing music. You know, maybe have an incense, a humidifier type thing, but it's not a diffuser. <sighs> and, uh, you know, maybe with some eucalyptus or lavender or whatever scent you like and just make this for you. And I'm really working these toxins out because I'm telling you, I was so swollen. It was not fun. Okay. I hope you guys can see, because I certainly can see. I'm going to try to come. The difference between the side that I haven't done anything to, to this. It's much less puffy. The eye is still a little puffy, so I might go into that more in a little bit here off camera, you know, just to kind of maybe stick these back in the, um, in the refrigerator again and, and redo that, revisit that area. So now I'm going to work on the other side and fast forward a lot of this for you guys. But I want you to get the idea um, of why this is nice and beneficial. These things have been around for centuries uh, <laughs> and people have done them for years. It's not harmful to you at all. Um, if anything, it is just, like I said, just so relaxing. It's all of this madness out of here. And now I'm going to move into this, this section here. And you can get your mouth area too. And when I do, if I do that area, I do try to pull that more taut because it can skip. And that's when it can become a little uncomfortable. So you don't want it skipping. So there are areas that's a little difficult to get to where I probably you know, maybe um, the spoon would actually do a better job getting into those areas or find a gasha tool that would get into that area better. And also there are the rollers. I have one of those as well and I do like using that when I have time. It's not often, but if I have time, you know, I'm usually not a work day, but I'm just getting ready to, you know, for the day and I have nowhere really to be. Um, I will use that to, um, it helps your um, skincare penetrate better and it's cooling and they're nice. They're very nice. 
Any of these tools though, you probably want to keep in a refrigerator just because they are nice because once you start doing this, it heats up. You know, it does heat up a little bit. So in the cooling, you know, it, it works as a, to depuff everything. I've lost track of how many times I've done this, but <laughs> it doesn't really matter. Yep, we're starting to get depuffed. It's going away. So now I'm gonna go under my eye. Okay, now I'm gonna move into my forehead here. And also, you guys, if there's something like you, a topic you would like me to show to you, if there's something that you are interested in, if I'm able to do so, I would love to help you in that way. You know, just as anything from simple as cleaning your um, brushes, you know, for your um, makeup and stuff. I know when I first got into this, I really had no clue what was safe to use on my brushes, what I could use, you know, how they should dry. Um, there's certain brushes that do need to dry a certain way, otherwise they would lose their shape. Just silly, you know, whatever there is. But I would love to hear from you guys if there's something you're interested in. Um, God knows I probably will do it. I probably, you know, all my gadgets and, you know. Oh boy, yeah. Um, but no, I mean, yeah, I would love for you guys to be involved with me as well. You know, I want to know what your guys' interests are. Um, you know, I need you know help on what to do for you guys, the content. I mean, uh, I'm sure the makeup thing can get a little overwhelming sometimes. And, or, you know, you just want to see something different. So, I am game into whatever you guys would like. Okay, so now I'm going to, again, on this side, remember how we did on the other side, is drag it down, get all of these fluids out of our face. Okay, so now I am going to move into this area. That's where this, these, this tool comes in. Okay, and then you can take this, like I said, and go down the neck area. As you guys have like a shoulder, you know, sore shoulder or neck, um, this is nice too. Especially if you have like somebody that can help you. See how red you can get um, to do that. You know, especially if you have a bad neck back here. Ooh. Well, not there. <laughs> you find, like I said, you find all sorts of um, little things going on. Might have to do that after. Wow, I'm a little tense back there. Yeah, so you guys get the idea. And like I said, it feels so much better. As you can see, it kind of did take away any of that puffiness. I don't know how much of this allergic reaction I still have in my face, but... I'm, I'm telling you right here is still pretty, pretty swollen. So I'm definitely going to spend a little bit more time over there. But uh, yeah, again, you guys, thank you so much for joining me. And um, please come back, hit the subscribe, the notification button. And if you could, please, please kindly, if you did enjoy this video, hit the like button. That does help my channel and hopefully make it grow so I can be around and you know, maybe get some more things to show you guys. So every little button click helps. So I appreciate it. And again, till next time.